So what are we doing today? And speak up, it's windy. Well, hopefully we're gonna move this thing under its own power. Um, complete the brakes. Both of those brakes are installed up front. New gas tank. Blow some air through the fuel line and hopefully it's not completely full of rust and spiders and squirrels and shit. And uh, yeah, possibly move it under its own power for a minute or two. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but. Also, we're going to be, well, I guess not, it doesn't really matter for what we're doing, but it should be noted that when you do this conversion, um, when you go from drum to disc, the master cylinder for drum brakes holds more residual pressure than the one for disc brakes. So these brakes, once we bleed them, are, are going to have a little bit of drag to them. Um, but that'll go away when we put the new master cylinder in. But just for now, to move it so it's not outside in the rain, we'll run the, the drum brake master cylinder. But I definitely wouldn't drive it, you know, a whole lot like that. It's back up there in a wonderful spot too. Well, and we got to put the booster in there, so that thing's gonna it's yeah. gonna really Ugh. be tight. Yeah. 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 That, that's it's not small. Either. Just to re refresh your memory. Oh damn! That's got to go in there. That's so. quite a bit. Yeah, it's a big girl. So it looks like this whole plate will come out. So you got the four bolts there. I think that'll snug up in there. Hopefully, God willing. We sure trying to check the fitment. Yeah, definitely. I haven't even really looked at this thing yet. Doesn't look bad. That's a story for another day. <laughs> so I guess we'll... It's just gonna be so yeah, fucking the windy. Hobo, the hobo blanket and uh, pull out a gas tank with who knows how many gallons of caramelized fuel. To pull that pickup, whatever is in the tank is gonna be spewing. Face. Yeah. It should be solid though. <laughs> it looks like uh, really good news. Somebody's already pulled all the fasteners out of this and they don't appear to be there. Well, there's one right there. Well, oh, that's wait. wonderful. I hope they're there. You didn't yeah, get there's, any? There's a couple. That saves us like, you know, 10 minutes worth of work right there. I did get this new filler neck hose too, because I figured this thing was, yeah, it's dry right up there. Those things always fail. Um, it's like an impact that do that off now, since we don't have to pull the mountain screws out, since somebody was kind enough to do that for us. And, uh, if I can piece the back glass back together, I couldn't find enough of it. <laughs> then we just have to do the pickup. Chicken wire. Flex seal. With enough oh my ball. god, you want to get a million views? <laughs> I want to piss off every Ford guy ever. Hey, if it'll patch a boat that's using a screen door as the bottom. I don't have my damn handy dandy deckhand knife to cut this piece of shit out of here. Every time I lose, like, interest in this car, I just see the, the pretty Acapulco <laughs> blue and think about it being that color again. Sparks me back in. So the more and more you do it, too, the more you're wanting to do it right, right-ish. Yeah, well, so I mean, just... I really don't want to fuck up this car that bad, but it seems to be the way things are going to go. God, that stinks. Oh, man, that really stinks. I'd love to get whatever fuel's in here and just like stick it in an old lawnmower or something. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good smell. Just go ahead and tear out. Now you're going to. Whew. Yeah, tasty, right? This is the uh, proper 
Ford mandated a removal method for the uh, filler neck hose. <clears throat> Gotta use your grandpa's knife and a dirty old screwdriver. Man, I've smelled a lot of dirty old fuel. It's got some kind of. This is top. It's five. got a familiar smell well, to it. It gets old and it gets a sweet smell, but this is like beyond that. It's like it. It's almost like there was a lot of really old gas in here, and somebody poured some fresh on top of it. Maybe. It's a. Uh, doesn't sound too sloshy. So hopefully there's not a ton of fuel in there. <clears throat> How about that filler net hose? I don't hear any liquid. No. Maybe we scored. This thing is so dry rotted. Um, let's see. No, there's no fuel in there. Just a lot of vapor. You got a Chinese puzzle it out of there. No, we gotta pull this guy. I just remembered. Fuck, it looks like it does have whiskers in it. <laughs> there's no <laughs> way that's stock. <laughs> Maybe it is, I don't know. Drywall screws. The um, the 68s had like a uh, a body bolt in there. I not, guess that could be freaking 1970. Is this new form screws? Uh, it's got a cutout like it I does. It actually, I think it comes down, but I want to kind of what, what my goal is here is to get it flipped up so we can drive that ring out and get the pickup out of it. Well, what's this do? Uh, we can, we can do that. Fuck it. That's fancy. I'm still in this. I don't have enough slack. I'm gonna have to get under it and do this the fun way. All right. So this this hose here broke off because it's nice and dry routed. That's your uh, fuel pickup hose. I popped this guy off. That's the wire that goes to the sending unit, and. Um, we should be able to actually just pull this thing up to the top now. Uh, that's the first time I've been under here. It's, this is really solid, dude. I mean, there's a lot of surface rust type shit, but yeah, this not, car is really solid. Not nearly what you'd expect. Uh-uh. It's pretty good. It's definitely not pretty, but it's good. Look at that beautiful girl right there. Oh. So you just unhook two things? Yeah, just pop the fuel line off. Pop the uh, sending unit wire off for your for your fuel gauge, and then I thought it was going to be a little more intense under here, but I think we can get it out like that. We can try to finagle this thing out. Hopefully, not get tight. You want to hold that up there for me? Oh god, just enough. Well, that Ooh. was easy as fuck. Sassy. So it looks like the fasteners are actually here. So somebody did uh, somebody did us a solid there. So does this the thing really exist exclusively to be able to get the gas tank out? Sure. What the hell else is it good for? I think you can fold. So the back seat folds down. I guess that folds down. You can like I don't know, put a sheet of fucking plywood in there. <laughs> they were, they were thinking about hauling one. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed at how solid this is. Like nothing looks like it's... I'd like to come back and... Nothing's roached in it, you yeah, know? Yeah, I mean, this gas tank's gonna come back out when I spray it, cause I'm gonna spray the inside of the trunk. I'll clean it out, re-seam seal it, you know, do the right thing. But for now, I just wanna do smoky burnouts. <laughs> so, I guess this wire that's hanging over here is actually, I thought that's what it was. That's the, uh, the pickup wire. I wonder if the gas gauge is gonna be gonna work. That'd be like stellar. So just out of morbid curiosity, do you want to pull the pickup out of this even though we're not using it? Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of rust. Mud daubers. Tap this ring around. It's welded in there with rust. Oh, that's a good sound. 
So the rest of the video is just going to be us huffing 30 yeah. year old gas and laying around on <laughs> Oh, that's fucking pretty. Look at that. This thing went from uh, from gasoline straight to crude oil. Ooh, that smell. I'm trying to place that smell. It just it's reminds like me a, of something uh, from my youth. She, she's sweet. It's uh, like a mixture of rubbing alcohol and... It just reminds me of like the, like the feed stores from when I was a kid. Like well, I'm sure something. there's like, you know, 18 different toxic chemicals they used to spray on cows or something in there. Um, so I got a new one somewhere. So we'll put that, in the, put that in the new tank, slide it in there. Damn, it's windy. Yeah, it really is. This one's got a drain on it. I guess that one did too. The thing is, that was probably a replacement tank. Is it just raw on the inside? Mm -hmm. Might be coated, I don't know. So you get a locking ring and a gasket. This is a pretty nice gas tank. Look what I paid for it. <laughs> so the pickup is gonna be, this always wigs me out because of the way this thing is. <laughs> I think it'll only go one way. Not Pretty much locked in on what it'll do. So this is the bottom of the tank. So we want the pickup to look. Make sure that's sitting down low. And it pretty much once it's in there. Put a dab of grease on it to hold it in place. That would be the right thing to do. Oh shit, it's actually got tabs on it. I was holding it off. Tab, you know, two tabs there, and two slots there. So it's gonna have to go. Oh, so those have a little spring to them. <laughs> It is, it just locks in that way. Alright, that makes more sense. Let's try to get those guys in there. So they're resting where they need to be. The o ring's not in its groove. This o ring is a pain in the ass, so this wind is not helping. Alright, the o ring's in place. Pick up some place. Sent your ass down. Oh. That should do it. So that's obviously not gonna work. I really hope somebody has something better to do with their life than watch me install a gas tank. <laughs> and it's not like there's not already 70,000 yeah. videos of this. Once you build up the amount of videos, people want to watch the build right. versus like the actual. So I took the, um, the old hose I pulled off there. It had a piece that was about half an inch long that was, uh, that was ripped off of it. So I just kind of guesstimated this guy. I'm going to stick it on the car side, I think. I have a reference on the car side of how far this thing was stuck on. Not that it really matters, but might as well stick with how it was. Do you need a hose clamp for it? So I got these little spring clamps I just pulled off, which I definitely hate these things with a burning passion, but they seem to work. And 
they got nice patina. <laughs> it's original. Hey man, fucking Ford guys love it. I'm sure I could get brand new ones for like half a cent a piece. But that wouldn't be any fun. One problem with the wind out of here, when I'm wearing contacts and it gets windy like that, I just lose like my vision for a second. <laughs> so you haven't seen shit the whole time? No, I'm just flying blind. I'm gonna clean up this lip where it sits. I really dig that exhaust. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not completely rotted out because I'd kind of like to keep it like that for a while. But one of the cool stickers on it because yeah, this thing's got like super 80s vintage racing thing going on. It's got the blackjack header sticker on the side of it. <laughs> and it says thrust mufflers, which if that's still a thrust muffler on there, it's guaranteed there's nothing left of it because those are like <laughs> the cheapest, shittiest muffler you can get. That can't be true if it comes with a sticker. That's what they just self justify themselves as a uh, go fast part. It's like the uh, Edelbrock sticker on my truck. That's for the valve covers. <laughs> <clears throat> Performance! <laughs> but that's one thing that I always catch myself saying, and it's also kind of one of my pet peeves. It's not a valve cover. It's a rocker cover. Uh, Everybody yeah. says valve cover. And it gets under my skin, and then I do it, and I get double pissed. Well, that's what it's listed on the website you buy it from as. Yeah, Technically, wouldn't your heads be your valve cover? <clears throat> I don't know, Dad built the motor. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back through at some point, pull this gas tank back out, a couple spots. There's supposed to be a coating that goes under here, like a, a bead of um, sealant. So I'm just gonna get it halfway okay for now. Cause I really don't know what the fate of this car is gonna be yet. But it's, I'm leaning more and more towards like, semi-restored, but not a show car. It's so good like it is. <laughs> Sorry! That's, that's what you meant to do. <laughs> Oops. When your actual race car becomes a trash can, you know you're living life right. <laughs> I love the unanswered questions in your driveway. <laughs> What the fuck is going on over here? Well, that's our uh, E36 endurance car. And it's, to count up all the races we've been in, it adds up to, you know, days worth of race time. Because <laughs> we do 12 hour, 14 hour, 24 hour endurance races. But it's only finished like, three out of ten. So do you, like the four of you take turns driving in those? Or? Yeah, two hour stints. Camp Car Series, there's actually a lot of, you, looked up, look up, you can look up uh, clapped out racing and we got a lot of videos up there. I mean it's boring videos, just us driving, but that's how slow I am. The wind is ruthless. I'm trying to put it in here as much as I can so it's not just non-stop. Welcome to Elizabeth City, North Carolina, where the wind never fucking stops! I really do hate this little chunk of the world. It's fucking miserable. <laughs> like of all places, this had to be where I ended up. It's like, it's nice for, what, about six hours weather-wise, and then the mosquitoes are like, where are you at? Or it's like Gale Forest Wind. When we first moved here, I swear to God, it rained every day for 200 days. But then like last spring, when, when you know, someone like me is really banking on the rain, we had like a 60 day drought. <laughs> but all winter, it rained every day. When you don't want the rain. But you know, that's just farming. That's on there. Let's pull that panel back again. So 
So we got away with it on the removal side, <laughs> but I think this is still gonna have to come out. I can try to, I'm gonna try to get the angle of the dangle just right and work it on there. You're gonna give it the college try first. Yeah, pull that out. Yeah, I really, I really hate to remove that fucking thing. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. So close. Yeah, it's gonna come out. Bummer. So hopefully whoever watches this just learns that this is the fucking wrong way to do it. <laughs> Wait, eventually, I'd really prefer to think that just nobody's watching it. Not yet, but eventually once you get about 60 videos. Hopefully never. What's crazy is whenever you start, you'll start getting the people telling you their life story in the comments. My grandpappy died, he taught me one thing. Exactly. You got a spider right by your foot. You might try to go up yet. Yeah. To the left. Blends in. Oh, ugh. Sorry, guy. It wasn't me, it'd be the chickens. So why does that not want to come off? Let's see if that screw coming from the other side. Oh, it does. So yeah, those factory or those... Uh... I'm not certain. I mean, that looks like four screws, but... <coughs> Whatever. Oh, come on, baby. Give it up. I need this tension. Alright, so that's loosened up. Son of a bitch. So we've got a bunch of lost hardware. gasket. I don't know where those screws just went, so it's definitely going to be wood screws going back in. We're classy around here. We use wood screws, not drywall screws. <laughs> That's interesting. The stud came out. That didn't come off. Your dog. dog's nose just went up my butthole for a second. <laughs> in there. So I got all the screws that I lost. Well, I got one out of four. 25% ain't bad, right? <laughs> oh, you lost all the screws? Yeah. I dumped uh, them all right here with the part number for a true 70 Mach 1 gas cap. It's right there. Blurry. Uh, D-O-Z-A, so 1970, D-O-Z-A. 9A112B. It's an auto light part number. Uh, was that a six cylinder or an eight cylinder? <laughs> well, according to the gas cap. <laughs> Parts counter guy. Sir, what color was the car? <laughs> Rear wheel drive. <laughs> Parts counter guy. Uh, yeah, I need a radiator for a 70 Mach 1. What make is that? <laughs> I wish we had a camera going. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I'd also like to think that one day I'm going to reseal all this. <laughs> so I'm not sloshing gas out, but... Yeah, you both nice like that. Yeah. Just like you're gonna take this tank out and clean up this whole trunk area. That, that's good. probably actually not gonna happen. <laughs> so the only doodad I've seen here that's worth noting is you got this little clip that holds the wire down and it goes in this driver's side front corner for the gas tank. Other than that. Pretty much all bolts and holes. I'm just kind of sad that I wasn't with the guy that found this car. Because apparently it was like a Mustang Mecca. Huh. There was 68 fastbacks, Mach 1s, all kinds of shit just sitting around in this guy's barn. And it was somewhere down here nearby, according to what the dude told me. 
but he wouldn't give up the location. <laughs> Can't say that I would either if I was getting <laughs> 70 Mach 1s for three, four thousand dollars. And apparently it's all the same tank from uh, 64 to 70, I think it was. Fucker. Shit. <laughs> That's some elbow, bitch. <laughs> That's a really classy operation. You fucking elbowed the camera as I was picking my nose. I just had it <laughs> Only the best. <laughs> So you want to have a good metal on metal steel there, you know. <laughs> what's actually going to happen is I'm going to get pissed off, just sandblast this and bedline everything. <laughs> hey, I'm your guy. <laughs> I think that's all the, uh, I can't believe all the fasteners were there. That's great. So you just got to hook up the stuff on the bottom and dump gas in it? Yeah. Um, I got to reconnect the fuel line into the fuel pump. I'm contemplating blowing some air through the line to try to blow out any, like, squirreled away acorns and shit, but, I mean, gasoline will flush that out, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. I'll sterilize it. Can't ever tell I was in there. There's an impressive amount of mud daubers that nest under here, dude. The entire, like, cross member that runs in front of the div is nothing but mud daubers nests. Let me see if I can get in there, too. You get a shot right over the top of the div. The whole thing is mud daubers nest. It's pretty fucking cool. That's some teeny exhaust. Cool. Alright. Fight this thing on here. Be done with it. There's a lot of glass in my back. I think Henry Ford approves. 